Hey, Mike with Nerd Problems Gaming here, and welcome to Nerd Problems Gaming, the channel where we go through the good and bad of everything nerdy to make sure you spend your time on the best of the best. In today's video, I'll be doing a review of Dead Rising, so stay tuned. Now, if you're not familiar with the Dead Rising series, there are up to four of them now. I'm sure they'll probably have a fifth one coming out soon, but basically in this game, you follow the story of Frank West, who is basically a photojournalist who has been sent to investigate this uh, apocalypse, zombie outbreak sort of thing uh, that's going on at the Willamette Mall. And so basically, if you've ever seen the movie Dawn of the Dead, that's basically one of my favorite zombie movies ever. And so basically that takes place inside of a mall. So it's kind of like that almost, but in a game version versus a movie version. And so what's cool about this is there's some, you know, in-depth conspiracy going on. You know, what caused this outbreak? Is there people behind it? Um, you know, was this done on purpose? And so you go through finding that out throughout this game. On top of that, you're gonna run into a bunch of different survivors that are hiding in the mall, that are in crazy situations that you basically need to go out and rescue them as well. So some different things that are a lot of fun with this game, you know, one, this was kind of one of the first zombie games I felt like that took it to a mass scale where there's gonna be hundreds of zombies everywhere throughout the mall that you're just gonna be able to mow down and pick up weapons and take out. And that's kind of another cool aspect too with this game is being Basically, you can pick up virtually almost anything in the mall, you know, plants, chairs, um, you know, toys in the toy store, weapons, swords, guns, there's everything you could ever imagine uh, to use on these different zombies. And so what's neat is not only that, it also has a, a very cool RPG element to it as well. So the more zombies you kill, you're going to gain experience. Um, you're also a photographer, so if you take crazy photos, you take photos of survivors or photos of some different psychopaths basically throughout the storyline, you're going to earn experience and points for that as well. And so you can use those to, uh, you know, increase your life, increase your speed, learn new super moves, um, have more stamina, right? So there's all these different aspects that you can upgrade uh, with your character as you're playing through the game. And another neat aspect to it is there's all kinds of different kind of branching stories where there's uh, a bunch of different timelines going on at once. And so you might get a uh, notification that there's a survivor held up in some area of the mall and you need to go rescue them while another crazy thing is going on or there's a psychopath on the loose somewhere in the mall. And so you've got all these different branching stories going on all at the same time and probably on your first playthrough you might miss different things or not have the skill or the speed or the right items to you know make it to all these different things all at once and so you miss out on some different things well what's cool is when you die in the game you can basically choose to uh, restart the game over and then you're going to keep all of basically your experience and then obviously you'll know where things are throughout the game now at this point so it kind of gives you a better advantage to solve some of these mysteries or uh, figure out different parts of the game save more survivors uh, as you play through multiple times so it really increases the replay value which is really fun and then like i said it's kind of almost like a choose your own adventure where all these different things are going on at once and you can choose what part to go to so in addition to the crazy zombie stuff that's going on there's also psychopaths that are on the loose so it, it creates some pretty intense boss fights and crazy battles throughout the game as well so that's one thing I think that they did best in this first Dead Rising game compared to other games is I really felt like it, it was an intense crazy person that I was going up against and then versus maybe some of the later games in the series it was just kind of more like oh been there done that you know this isn't as crazy or as weird or whatever the case is so I think the storyline was a lot better in this first game and then like i said i like that kind of aspect where you have to go save survivors help get them back to safety and then kind of having that different time window made it a little bit more intense where again i felt that this game 
compared to the other Dead Rising games was a lot harder and a lot more challenging to complete the task, to save all the survivors, to beat the cycle pass. So I really like that aspect of this game as well. And then plus, like I said, it was kind of the first one to ever do anything like this. So that was really cool too. And then also just having the aspect of really being in a mall for the first time where you could just do anything and go anywhere where again certainly they've had those aspects in other dead rising games moving forward but this was really the first one that they had done that so if you haven't played dead rising definitely get your hands on it it's one of my favorite games especially if you like zombie games or survival horror games it's definitely worth a playthrough and adding to your nerd library and then again like i said you know it was originally on xbox 360 they've done a remake or at least a re-release on the xbox one so you can get it there as well so you can still play this game today download it buy it have a lot of fun with it so i highly recommend picking up dead rising it's a great game and you should definitely get your hands on it. So again, hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And then also maybe you'd like to support our channel, uh, help us get out better content, more videos faster. And maybe you'd like to also get early access and help us pick videos and more. Uh, if that's the case, definitely choose to become a patron of ours and head on over to patreon.com forward slash nerd problems gaming and become a patron where again like i said you'll get access to videos early help us pick videos and more over there at patreon.com forward slash nerd problems gaming and then also maybe you'd like to check out some of our let's plays and live streams that we do over on twitch uh, you can plug into us and follow us over there over at twitch.tv forward slash mike mac direct again that's twitch.tv forward slash mike mac direct and you'll be able to plug into our live streams and let's plays over there on twitch as well but again thanks for tuning in we'll talk to you more soon